had a lot of um, interesting foreshadowing in it. Um, having this film start out with a flashback really helped set up the film. Um, it was a really nice way to introduce the backstory of our two main characters. Um, and then we have the epic foreshadowing in this film with Bodhi mentioning that um, he would dig his own grave someday. He says that in response to a joke by another character. And then, of course, at the end of this film, he does end up uh, digging his own grave unknowingly. Um, the, this film is pretty intense. I think the music and the lighting really helped with this effect, especially the red backlight in some of the shots in this film. I thought that did a really great job of setting the mood and keeping us on our toes. Um, the When the brother is shown to actually be alive in the trunk, that made me jump a little bit. Um, so definitely had me on the edge of my seat. I'm um, liking I thought it was good at sort of establishing a sense of scale um, and scope, even though the, uh, the, obviously the construct is uh, s- sort of contained and doesn't have the benefit of a huge budget, but I thought the, the dynamic between the two brothers and sort of the emotional uh, feel of a thriller and a crime, um, sort of a narrative that is built around um, the personal bond deteriorating, I thought it worked well in a short amount of time, and I thought the piece had a good sense um, of a sort of cinematic approach to uh, show the, dif- the difference between the two a brother is leading up to um, obviously the moment of violence that changes their uh, relationship and I thought the piece uh, worked well sort of as a moody approach and also as sort of um, a just straight uh, drama filled approach that I thought um, I had a good sense of uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, thriller feelings and uh, tension feelings that I thought were consistent throughout the piece so I feel like there's like a tension started already it's like a good setup like for this kind of story and like the atmosphere, like the tone, it's dark, it's really dark in this one. So I feel like it's kind of good, like set, like for uh, this kind of story, like about like, you know, revenge, like, about uh, you try to like have them like paying back something like to the thing that they have lost like for three years. So everything is well done in this short, good performances, good production, and well put together through editing. The lighting is masterful here. I like the structure of the story as far as get in and get out. Uh, cre- get in, create a feeling in the audience emotionally, and then get out. <laughs> um, I thought that was effective. Didn't overstay its welcome. Uh, I like the, the stru- like the structure of the storytelling as far as like setting it all up. like Because it was like all led to that like cliffhanger that makes me want more is my point it it felt like the whole film was like driving 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 you're like what are we driving at and then you leave us on a cliffhanger and that's a great choice because it's like now we want more and i could see this being the uh cold open to a pilot or whatever so if this is that go for it i say green light give them all the money just as a great strong start gets us right into it um you know in that first minute as soon as we see that gun we just like okay something's about to happen uh, and then it does and um we just we have this nice sort of um uh, sort of like build up uh, to, towards the ending um yeah some really good writing the performances were good uh that really helped uh, just sort of uh, carry us uh, through some of the the slower bits but um everything felt very uh intentional like there for a purpose there wasn't a lot of uh filler 